We have flat water this morning. It is beautiful conditions. And uh, yesterday we limited out on coho. We had 14 hatchery coho. We cleaned those. We kept a couple rockfish. I think only three, not as many rockfish around yesterday. And the coho fishing was just really good. So we had some rockfish fajitas last night for dinner. And uh, a couple guys took off early. So uh, Aaron and I just have three clients today. We're really looking forward to getting into some more coho like we did yesterday. But uh, we also want to try to find some lingcod and rockfish. And if the conditions stay like this, we're gonna have a pretty good shot at getting after those fish. We had some new friends at our camp spot last night that are road tripping all around the country. So it was super fun just to hang out, drink some margaritas and eat some fish tacos and uh, get to know them a little bit as we unwound from a really fun day of fishing. Man, but we're, I'm really pumped to be out here this morning. Well, our first fish of the morning is a double hookup. Oh no, a triple hookup. Definitely rockfish are on the bite. Last time we were here in June, we had rockfish blitz going crazy and we have a really fun video about that. Make sure you check that out. I have a link right up there. But we're seeing some rockfish blitzing right in front of us and so um, I'm gonna try to get over here before it goes away. Hopefully they stay on that bait for a little bit. Well, I got one rockfish stripping the fly here, casting amongst the kelp bed and, um, and then Aaron was uh, gonna do the same thing, but actually caught a coho doing it. And um, and then Greg has a coho on right now. So pretty exciting. We'll see if we can see the bait down there. See if we can get some more, more fish out of this spot. Greg's hooked up. Aaron's hooked up. Jamie's hooked up. We got a triple. Triple on rockfish. There it is. Hey, that's a nice one. You got a rockfish, Jamie? Yeah, it's a big one. A big one. That's what Aaron had too. Oh, it's so big he has to use the net. Look at that. Look at that giant net for that four pound fish. Good job. Been into these over here? You were just part of a triple hookup. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jamie got one and Aaron got one. And uh, yeah, it all spread out like this, too. They were, there's just must be a bunch of them right around here. Yeah. They just turned on, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they did. Good okay. job. Well, we tried jigging for a little bit. We got one ling cod and a couple more rockfish, but it was not on. When you have five hooks in the water, uh, anglers and kayaks spread out, you cover water pretty quickly and uh, you know if it's on or not, it wasn't on. So we uh, changed it up and are now looking for some coho. And I think that, um, I think I just saw one of the guys just land one, um, but he's kind of far away from me. So I don't know if it was a rockfish or not. I'm looking for my first coho. Uh, everything I've hooked so far has been rockfish. I'm not complaining, cause that's pretty cool to catch much rockfish. They're delicious and <laughs> we got a bag full of them. So, um, but we're, we're now fishing this really shallow sandy area. Uh, and it's maybe only five to, I would say four to 10 feet deep. And there's sand lance all over the place. And there are just these really small uh, bait fish. And so these salmon are pushed in really close to uh, the kelp and into the shallows chasing after this bait. And uh, so hopefully we'll find fish in here like we did yesterday. I just changed the color of my fly. I I've been fishing chartreuse all morning getting a lot of rockfish on it, but uh, no no coho. So I put on an all white fly that I called the white ghost in literally 20 seconds, not even 20 seconds, 10 seconds, bam, had a fish on and it's in the net right here. Nice hatchery fish, gonna keep this one and uh, get that white ghost back out hunting again. Oh, that sand lance is alive. That's what they're eating. We have a bait ball out here and uh, the fish are pushing it up and jumping and going crazy and then the birds are diving on the bait from the top and I'm pedaling as hard as I can to get out here to see if I can get a fly in front of it before it goes away. Oh, they just keep going further away.
man, this fish is strong. This fish ran so hard, I thought it was foul hooked, but it's just, man. Oh, that's a nice fish. Take a look at this guy. Look at that fish. Missing the fin. There it is. Dude, he engulfed that fly. Nice fish. That was cool. No, no video, so there's no video of me actually catching that fish, but I have a photo and video of Aaron holding my fish. There's no proof that I actually just caught that. Uh, that fish was, we, I, we thought it was maybe another king because it just burned so much line into the backing. Super fun, oh my gosh. We should come back next week. Oh wait, we are. <laughs> <laughs> wow, nice fish, Jamie. Okay, send her loose. Trying to find one last coho before we are limited out. It has been a spectacular day. Rockfish have been plentiful and the coho have just been, been great. We did notice that uh, the last, man, eight fish we hooked, uh, they were all substantially bigger and it's almost as if the smaller fish uh, maybe moved out of the area with another big school um, or that has just shown up because uh, they were just all super nice quality cohos. Excited to come back next week. Hope you can join us on a trip. We got lots of lots of different stuff that we do. We do these multi-day trips, but we also do single day guided trips all over Puget Sound for sea run cutthroat, trout, and salmon. We love kayak fishing. So come out, join us. Join us on the water. Thanks. Mm -hmm.